Now, beautiful day here this morning on the farm. We, we are gonna uh, de-winterize the plow truck here and turn it into a daily driver. Um, the front bumper on this truck uh, is all part of the plow system. So we took all that off and we're gonna build a new front bumper and the rear bumper uh, was damaged backing up in uh, plowing snow. So we're gonna build a new rear bumper that's uh, uh, heavy duty and, and can stand up to the rigors of snow plowing and, and dogs. So I've already taken off the stock bumper, uh, and but I put it up on jacks to show you the height of it. This is the stock location with these drop down arms and it puts it uh, fairly low for, for my application. I'm always dragging uh, this spot is a uh, as I'm coming out of a draw, it's always dragging the back bumper and it ends up tearing it up. Uh, so what I'd like to do is bring a, a bumper up as close as I can to the tailgate so the tailgate doesn't hit it when you drop it down but tight up in here. So we're going to have to cut away some of, the, uh, some of the body panel there but it gets us straight off of the main frame and that'll be a lot stronger and, uh, and give us a better departure angle. So I think we're going to use this uh, two inch by six inch uh, tube, it's uh, actually a box metal, and shape it down and keep it up nice and high like that. Uh, we'll have to relocate our license plate and a light to light up the license plate. We'll put a couple of shackles on it and put a two inch receiver hitch in it. So what I did was bolt those angle irons to the frame and they're sticking out the same distance on both sides. Then I put the bumper up against it, centered it, got it shimmed up uh, with these jack stands and a couple of shims underneath to the exact uh, height I want. And now I can go in and tack it on both, uh, both frames and then unbolt it, take it apart and do the final welding on it. I'm not going to weld it to the truck, so if it ever got damaged or I bent it, I could just unbolt it and take it off and, and fix it and put it back on. Getting started on the front bumper now. And my goal is to keep it uh, very low profile, but you got to start with some sort of a base here uh, building off of the front. and. You can buy winch plates and different things, but I'm not going to put a winch on, on this truck because I, I use the Lewis chainsaw winch for, for pretty much all my winching. But I want to keep it tight and, and low profile. And uh, so I started out with some channel here. It's just what I had in the shop. Uh, I'm going to bolt that to the front. I'm going to put some plates underneath here to give it extra support to support the weight because this front isn't, isn't very strong and I want to tie it back into the frame. Um, and then after that we'll start building the, 
building the bumper out of tube. So I couldn't really figure out how to get all these angles. I got a, the straight piece on the front and then it breaks over at an angle to follow the, uh, the angle of the headlights and then it's gonna break back into the wheel well here and stop. So I ended up uh, cutting some plywood some uh, at, right at three inches, the same size as our steel, and, uh, and then was just able to play with that and get my angles and stuff. Uh, I put a screw in the middle here so you can hinge it and kind of play with the angles. Well, I'm a carpenter and not really a steel guy, so this is kind of a learning experience with me for me uh, fabricating this this bumpers. But one of the things that uh, that I do in woodworking or or framing houses or anything is uh, I'll build a template like we did for the bumper here uh, with an angle, and then I'll put it up against a straight edge. Mark the angle in reference to the straight edge, and then I take a speed square or a rafter square, and you just put it at that angle, and then you read, uh, you put it right in the crook of that angle, or you can get it lined up with the angle, and then you read uh, the side of the square, and it'll tell you 28 degrees on, on that angle. So I will cut the steel at 28 degrees. Well, we're getting pretty close to being done. Uh, put a license plate holder on, and then I actually cut out the marker lights uh, holders from the other bumper. It's junk anyways. They were pretty rusted up, but I was, there's some decent steel in them. So, uh, welded those on. Now I need to unbolt it, uh, do final weld all the way around it. Everything's pretty much just tacked, and then uh, Hit it with a bunch of cans of rattle can paint. Well, that's it. It's all installed here. Uh, I had to work today, so I had to wait till the paint was dry, anyways. But the lights are working. All the reveals look pretty good. I ended up putting a two inch receiver hitch on the front, which I wasn't really excited about it, reduced the uh, approach angle, you know, made the bumper a little bit lower, but it just gave me a lot more options of, of things to attach to it. Uh, it. Turned out pretty good, I thought, with the, with the way it matched up with the contour of the front bumper. I ended up coming in from the back and tapping in uh, a quarter 20 stainless steel bolts uh, to, to catch this sheet metal in the frame over here, which I didn't show. So, all in all, it was, uh, I'm happy with it.